I'm Jess Miss 20,001, and today I'll be showing you how to do a bullet wound like this. Keep, if you want to learn how, what keep you watching. need is cream makeup and eyeshadows, fake blood, liquid latex, setting powder, but this isn't really necessary, basic applying tools like q tips, little tiny cups and toilet paper. Let's get started. I'm going to pull back my hair before I don't get any latex in my hair. So, yeah. First, you're going to take liquid latex and put it into a little tiny cup. You're going to take your toilet paper, get a piece off, and you're going to take it, if it's too far like mine, rip it in half, and you're going to make little squares for the wound. Just rip it, and like you can always rip it and do it at the same time, which is probably what I'm going to do, so you can put it on and stuff. So you take a Q-tip, Q-tip, dip in latex, the area you want it, and then take a piece of toilet paper, rip it, and push it on, and do that and then rip off, and do another layer of latex on top. And rip off the excess. So it's like that. Do that process like six times. I have to say that you can use a hair dryer to dry the latex to make it go a lot faster. You have a little dot. You're gonna take the latex and you're gonna go around it so it smooths out the edges. And up the edges just a little bit. Like so, and then let that your Q-tip and cut off one edge. You're going to make a hole in the center for it's the wound. Go and start pulling with your fingers. Go and take a little bit of foundation and cover it up for it's easier for the um, makeup products. And reach inside the hole and around it. Blend it out. It's like that. Yeah, it's blended into my skin. Now we're going to be taking a deep red and you're going to be taking a Q-tip. Taking it and put it inside the hole. Put it right inside the hole. Feel it in. Just right inside it before it's because it's the entry site. Well, like so. Now I'm taking my cream stock and using the mustardy yellow color. And I'm taking a Q-tip and then some on there and going around the wound with it. To make it look like it's bruised. Blend it out with my finger. Keep doing that until you get a nice color around it. And then you're gonna take the dark brown on my bruise on my cream color stack and then do the same thing. These are grease paints. These colors they look they work a lot better than um the non-grease ones because they come in a lot easier as I should say um let's see it's starting to look like there's a bruise that's good I'm taking a black eyeshadow dipping it and smearing it around And I'm using my fingernail since it's a lot easier. And taking some purple around it a little bit. I'm 
It might look bad on the camera, but it actually looks like a real bruise. Then taking a little bit of the mustard color and put it on around it. Blend it with my fingers and Q-tips. So now I really don't like the color of the inside of it. So I'm gonna add more red, a different color red to it. So it's darker, I should, I should say. So So it's like this. Take some fake blood and pour into a little cup. And so I'm going to be taking a Q-tip, mixing it up, and uh, start dabbing it all over the wound. Make sure you put a lot in there. And I lost my stipple sponge, but you can take a stipple sponge and sponge it around it. Brush and dip it in blood, and then be splattering it all over my face. Great, I got it my hair a lot. So I'm just do that and blend it out a little bit. And there you go, that's how you make a bowl room.